Hey everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play The Witcher 2. We are going to go head off and, uh... No, they can't actually. That's an interesting story point. So we are going to go off. Uh, we're in the forest near Flotsam. It looks like the cave that she wants us to check out is actually... Or is that back towards the docks? Cedric. Okay. Go to the cave beneath Flotsam. Okay, so I guess the cave is actually under the town. Well, let's just head that way. Let's let's do this first. See what we can't figure out. Also, uh, we need to go in front of the inn at night time to continue the uh, Fisticuffs quest to meet Ziggy, the uh, second guy that wanted us to um, be a part of his uh, fight club. But we'll go and do that later. Not anything pressing right now. Let's see. I think the stew's ready. We'll have to head around and down here. All the way back to oh, hello. We'll wait out there. Make it quick. All right. Well, you guys do what you need to. Let's check and see what's inside of the cave. Oh, there's blood here. Well, this can't be good. So it's either going to be an ambush from Scoyatel or... How do I switch to my other sword? There we go. Or, or I guess I could just hold down Q. Okay. Well, there's definitely something down here. There's blood. Let's go ahead and switch to the silver sword, and I'm gonna go ahead and make a little save. Before we get too far down here. I've got a silver sword currently. That does not sound natural. Oh yeah, that's definitely not natural. Whatever that is. Ah! These. Yeah. So. These enemies are going to come out of some big numbers, but we can take them on. We'll be fine as long as we stick with it. Come on. Hello. They come at you quick, but they sort of like back off a little bit. But we definitely want to kill them all, because the more we fight, the more information we get. You see knowledge, one out of three. Basically, we need to get knowledge on these guys anyway. There's two ways of doing that. You can either read a book, or you can kill the creature. Well, books cost money, so we're not going to do that. Stay back a little bit, wait for him to come here. There's plenty of them to kill. Woo! Hello. Back off a little bit. The little guys tend to attack more ferociously than the big boys. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. They also tend to fly quite a bit. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Come here. We've killed quite a few of them at this point. We just have a few to take out. Alright. Oh, and we did the uh, contract. Oh, there's some more. We just want to make sure we're not going to be ambushed. That's the last thing we want. There's still more of them. Damn. 
All right. Are we good? We are for the moment. Okay. We're safe for the moment. There was a chest down here. We finished out a contract because we killed a bunch of them. This is why we take multiple things at the same time. Might as well take that. We're getting tons and tons of ingredients off of them as well. So this stuff can be either sold or um, used for other things. Used for crafting, rather. We got a lot. And it really doesn't take up that much space. Well, actually, it's taking up more space than I gave it credit for. But uh, we needed to do that. Okay. So we've got all that taken care of. We got the book, The Temerian Special Forces. So that's cool. Did we get any other books out of curiosity? We got two. Vio, Vio Patis, a forgotten god of the Pontar Valley, is still worshipped in certain forest settlements, but the times of greatness and popularity are long past. A few priestesses and witches make offerings to him, yet no common folk wish to take part in their rites. In the era of human colonization, Viopatis was a guardian god, often associated with rivers from which humans drew benefit. He guarded people from the dangers of the forest. Poles bearing his likeness marked the border between areas that had been tamed and those that had remained wild and dangerous. Viopatis gave people fish, made sailing easier, and his name was used to ward off beasts. Yet, he remained petulant and fierce. In these times, if those wandering through the woods came across stone idols with gaping jaws, they believed them to be the likeness of fierce monsters rather than statues commemorating a once-loved deity. It's interesting. I think we uh, did, in fact, see something about that. All right, Temerian Special Forces. The creation of these formations began... Wait, the creation of these formations began, it turned out that shitty shield bearers are as good as fighting at those mobile squatel units as a knight's saddle on a pig. The first special forces were formed by Kim Demavend, and they were commanded by the infamous White Ray Rayla. Their effectiveness went hand in hand with cruelty and ruthlessness in their battles with the squirrels, and their hatred to non humans usually extended, mildly speaking, beyond professional spheres. Elves from the units had an equally strong enmity towards them. And the clashes between the partisans and the special forces were extremely brutal and bloody. Besides fighting the Squaytel, the Temerian special forces carried out a variety of other dangerous tasks, justly earning the reputation of effective professionals. It's interesting. Um, that book was all sorts of weirdness. Is there more? Are they respawning? They must be. Oh, there's more up there. This area is just full of them. Let's see what's going on here. This is a dead end. What the heck? Yeah, they're just spawning in this room. Okay, so we've got to be careful here. Because they're just spawning endlessly. We don't want to get caught in a bad situation where there's just an impossible amount of them. We can't go further that way either. Iron ore and silver ore. Ah, so we climb up here. I see. Oh, hello! Can you not? Out of curiosity, have they already started to spawn down there again? Not yet, but I imagine they will soon. For the moment, we're okay. Iron ore. We need iron ore for the steel swords, of course, and uh, silver ore will be for silver swords. We can jump down from there. I guess that's a shortcut back. But we don't want to do that just yet. We can climb up here for some reason. Is there a reason to come up here? Just a little shortcut thing? Okay, that's fine. 
So plenty of monsters down here. That's why we took out the silver sword. Ah. Well then. This does not look like the work of uh, monsters. There are definitely arrows. This is pretty clear. All right. We have pretty incriminating evidence there. I'm not going to turn it in just yet. I will let the patrons uh, decide whether or not we turn Melina in. Uh, because very clearly she's been leading uh, people down here. But we will have a choice to make in this chapter whether or not we follow Roach or Roche, or if we follow uh, Melina or uh, Eo of Earth or whatever his name is. This, I believe, is also going to come out. Does this come out in town? Where does this come out? It's locked. Ooh, interesting. But where are we under in here? Oh, we can't see it, can we? We are, in fact, underneath of the town here. I believe there is a lock somewhere for this. But in any case... I don't know whether we're not... I, I'm going to try and make it so that we don't talk to uh, the guards outside. So that we don't have to turn them in. Because if we decide to side with the Skoyatel... Well, I mean... Probably don't want to just turn them in. You know. Maybe. Think about that. I will let you all decide what we do in this circumstance. Also... Well, there's another something I could pick up here. Or iron ore. Is that it? Are we done spawning the creatures too? Because it would be really nice not to to have actually cleared out the cave. Okay, I think we're done. But we have our evidence now. But um Let's let's wait to finish out this quest, if I can. If I can't, well, let's make a save real quick. I made a save before going down there, too. Now, hopefully, I can just walk right by them. I don't think it'll... Oh, dang it. Find anything in there? Two soldiers. What happened to them? Alright, hold on. Let's see if I can't load a game where I go off to the side. If I do have to turn her in, I'm just going to turn her in. But I should be able to just get around them, I think. And not turn it in yet. Ooh, I don't know that the game will not let me pass. Okay. Well... Yep, we're gonna have to do it. <laughs> I guess we're turning him in. What happened to him? Hmm. Let me look this up real quick. Yeah, you know what? I think it's very clear what's happened here. We're gonna turn her in. Um, because it's gonna help more people in the long run. They were shot. They're dead. Riddled with arrows. I know nothing about that. What do you think, Witcher? Seems like two soldiers wandered into the cave. Maybe to drive away monsters, but just because somebody convinced them to go. I don't know how many monsters they managed to kill, but I do know who got them. Skoyatel. Bollocks. Last I recall, Neckers don't know how to use bows. Oh. Hey lads, let's find a tree. No, I'll tell you everything. Just don't kill me, please. No, let's hear it. Speak. You need to see this. You won't understand otherwise. See plowing what? The bitch is lying. Well, here's the thing. If we, uh... You know what? I'll show you guys it, what happens and I'll explain everything else. We still get the uh, same amount of everything, I think. I think we get the same amount of uh, experience. I think I'm just gonna side with the guards here, and I'll explain my reasoning in a second. Give it up, Elf. Let's take it to the Commandant. Lorita will torture me. I hope my screams wake you every night, Vatgun. Shoot it! Thanks, Witcher. 
You've earned your reward. Well, we got 125 experience there. Uh, okay, I, th I think we should have been awarded with 325 total. But basically, here's the deal. If you tell a lie and uh, side with her, she will um, thank you and tell her to meet you by some water, meet her by some waterfalls later, where Squail Tail will ambush you. She just tries to kill you for helping her, which is ultimately really shitty. Um, if you uh, decide to let her lead on and she'll take you somewhere, uh, she will bring you and the guards to a location where Squail Tail will ambush you and. Uh, you kill the Squayotel, and the guards are, you know, it's the same outcome. So honestly, we're just saving ourselves some trouble, and this is the only way that we are getting more experience for doing what we're already doing. Because our, uh, we got some extra experience in the middle of all that. Oh, destroy all the entrances to the tunnels. Ew. Okay. We need to go back down there and finish the Necker contract. Yeah, we need to destroy it. Oh, that's why they keep spawning the nests. Right, right, right. Let's go do that real quick. I, I think this is just an Ard sign thing. I think. I've probably killed quite a few of them, although, for all we know, maybe they've already respawned, which is really annoying. They might have. I thought maybe I would have to do something like that. All right, so where's these, where are these entrances? Is it this? No. Destroy the entrances. To the tunnel. I'm missing something here. Definitely missing something. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. So, this is not the area where it is. Although, okay, it doesn't even show us on here. It's just an area where we can find these monsters. Like I said, the more you kill monsters, the more you learn about them. I think we just learned the uh, amount of information needed to deal with them. Um... If we had read the book on them, we would have just gotten this information immediately, where it would have been like, okay, well, we need to destroy their uh, tunnels. But because we did this first, we've already got that taken care of. Um, is there anything that we need back here? I don't think so. Just gonna check real quick, but I don't think there's anything down here. Apparently, we missed out on a couple of, um, permanent upgrades. They're not, like, super necessary or anything like that, but we have missed out on them. One was to stay inside the bubble at all times, which we just barely missed, and that would have given us some magic resistance. Um, unfortunately, for whatever reason, uh, I think I got pushed out at, like, the last minute. And then the other one we missed out on early, early on... I actually don't remember off the top of my head. <laughs> yeah, Probably. there's nothing much here to look at, so we don't really need to worry about going all the way back. Okay. So we're all done here. I guess now it's start time to start heading into the forest. Um, where we may actually run into Yorveth, possibly. We also need to talk to Laredo. And see what's going on there. 
But I think taking care of these contracts is going to be paramount to us for the moment. Now, out of curiosity... Oops, wrong one. What did we need for Militelli's heart? We need... Tongue of a Troll, Eyes of Arrakis, the Fetus of a Nundraga, and Essence of Death. So nothing from the Neckers, actually. Um, which means we killed all of them just for the contract. That's fine. Alright, let's head south of town and can start exploring a little bit. We will need to make some grape shot bombs, actually, so I wonder... Uh, alchemy. Do we have that already? No, we have Samum. Okay. Well. Oh. But you know what? We can level up. Character. So we can redirect arrows towards the shooter. That's useful. Vigor regeneration during combat is nice. Um. Hmm. Vitality plus 50 is nice as well. This is also grand. I don't really care about that. We can also now go into... Oh, we can't go into the other paths? Apparently not. So you know what? It might be worth it to get vitality up. Because this is quite an increase. There we go. That's another hit, all things considered. We will need to have some, uh... We will need to get a couple of the other things, but yeah. Well, hello. Oh, right, training dummies! This is something that we can, uh, focus on through the game. If we destroy all the training dummies, if we destroy 12 of them, rather, we'll get a little permanent boost. We missed a few in the prologue, annoyingly, but it's okay. We'll catch up on them. Okay. Head out of the town. We want our silver sword. Well, there's already something over here. Oh, it's an Endragora. Two of them. Big spiders. Yeah, the forests outside of town are dangerous. But if we're aggressive, we can take him out pretty quickly. Okay, did we get what we need? Jaw Salvation Trophy. Teeth. I don't remember what we need from them. Venom, Saliva. Which one are we looking for? Eyes of an Arrakis, fetus of an Andrega. We need to find one of their, uh... We need to find something of theirs. Oh, they're fighting each other, huh? Whoa, alright. This is all sorts of craziness. Oh no, let's not be here. We're in pain. What we could do, actually, switch to Igni. And just ruin everybody's day a little bit. Ooh. They're all sort of okay. Didn't even see that one. That one spawned here. My lord, game. Can you not spawn them, like, right next to me?
the game i don't i don't remember it having really bad enemy spawns like this but i guess it, it does happen sometimes oh it spawned right after the uh, mission was done i guess right yeah everybody's okay so let's try that one more time The moon blade. Just don't try anything. Oh. She the sword. The sword. Oh. Forgot that that was a thing. Pull out your sword. Everybody's like, ooh. There we go. And we need to level up real quick. Annoyingly. What did I grab? I think I grabbed vitality. Kill these real quick. There we go. But probably, yeah, these things don't Damn change their location, I guess. Okay. These things didn't do that before. They didn't do their charge attack once upon a time. Okay, well... Then turning on a dime is annoying. Well, I wanted to collect the trap. Cool. That's annoying. There's an area up here. Let's see what's up here. This is sort of a uh, to the west of town. We'll explore this area first and then check out everything else while our vitality comes back. The forest itself is quite dangerous. But this is where the Squiatel usually hang out. Right on the outskirts of town. Although it seems like there's nothing here. This is just a safe area, pretty much. But you can see this is where they attacked from. And overlooking the entire area that we entered in through. Which means they're actually quite closer to the town than you might suspect. Alright. Oh! And there's a way up here. Can we actually go up this? And we cannot. I thought that was a way up, but I guess not. But... A little bit of map completion, why not? I'm curious if we'll be able to destroy the uh, nests or the like entrances with Samum. I know we need a bomb for it, but I don't remember if any bomb will count. Or if it's only specific ones. We can head down here a little bit. Hello, trap. And then we'll collect that. Alright, well. God damn. I don't know what just popped up for us. So this leads back into town. I 
Any other traps? Or just here? The traps deal some damage, but they're not like... Insane. Well, there's all those fighting each other. Heavily fortified town walls. And then we get into the area out here. There's another trap that's already been... ...set off by something, but nothing's here. That's the thing, there's a lot of traps that are already set off, which I'm... ...confuse me a great deal. And that leads down to Lobiden, or whatever it's called. Lobden? Lobiden? I don't remember what they called it. Lobenden, I think it was called? I'm like, stuck in it, trying to figure out what's what. I don't want to like, go too far in. And get caught in that crossfire. Oh, okay, well... Whoa, hello! Came out of nowhere. Can we just... There we go. Just trying to take the trap there. Seems like a lot of them got killed here. And yeah, was it just spawning them randomly? It seems like it because... There's not like a ton of them here now. Like there was before. Hello. Well, there's some coming this way. Oh, there's a bunch coming this way. Alright, let's put some things in our... ...hot bar. Okay. That's it. We have conflagration traps, we have... ...snares... ...and we have salmons. Let's try and keep the salmons ...for us, but... How do I use these again? Oh goodness. That's right, walk through one. Please. Or not. Or apparently it's just gonna turn around. Although we can get it stuck too, that works. Oh, okay. I... Okay. I'm not sure where the embryo is. Can I disarm the trap? I'm pretty sure we can, in fact, get... Set off our own trap. I, re I remembered how to do it, though. You press R. But even still, like, sometimes the AI just doesn't do it. They just ignore it. There's something up ahead. Oh. Is that like a thing of power or? I don't know what that is. Now we've got a defensive one of some kind. Alright. I was literally pressing the button to collect it, but okay. Well, look at that. There's a guard of some sort here. Guess they'll never learn. Much more of them coming out now. So there is like a nest of some sort. Oh, I thought it was facing the other way. That was my bad. A warrior coming this way. Well, that was weird. Bait out the AI attack, or and then sometimes the AI will attack anyway. There we go. 
killed enough of them to understand what's going on. So we need to destroy the cocoons and kill the queen. Still in dangerous territory here. Oh, hello. Excuse me? What? I'm confused. The game's being buggy. And what's sad is it's usually not. Or at least not this buggy. It's usually fairly good about everything. Oh. Nope, that's one I want to disarm. Looks like they're fighting each other, hopefully. Another thing of power here. Looks like that's... Vitality of some sort. Another guard here. But it's fighting... One of these guys. There's still other enemies around here, though. No, okay. So we open the Shit, cocoon. Stink. And just attack the nest. And I'm pretty sure when we open the cocoon, other things come out? Well, no. But we do get an embryo. Bam. It's one of the things we needed for Militelli's heart. So you don't actually need to find the books in this game, because you, uh, Geralt can learn in... Uh, Geralt can learn just by killing the enemies, but... It is a lot quicker if you just read the book. So if you happen upon a book, always helps to read it. There's never going to be a situation where reading is not helpful. Kill another cocoon. There's another one of those coming our way. Now, thankfully, the game's not mean enough to make us, like, kill them in different ways or anything like that. So as long as you're keeping an eye out and, uh, killing monsters as you see them, it's all good. That does actually make me wonder if there's a... Uh... If there are entries for trolls. Although I'm sure you can get them from the books, like... There's only a certain amount of trolls in the game and they were added by a DLC anyway? So it does make me wonder if there is a, uh... If there's an actual entry entry for them. Or if they're just unique enemies. We should give a save real quick, because we're pretty far in the wilderness. Oh, come on. Didn't even see that trap. Even though I did the medallion thing. Oh, hello. Yeah, be careful. The game will spawn a bunch of these guys to come after you. And the most inopportune of times, too. As we've seen. Where it spawned it behind me. But we're okay. We're pretty good on health. I am considering installing a... Mod that lets me use the... I can't just change Geralt's direction. Unfortunately. That'll let me use my uh, medallion much more often, because apparently the cooldown is pretty bad. Oh. Hidden little area here. So what's what have we got? Orins. Leather. Looks like someone lives out here in the caves. Something to keep in mind. 
How far out have we ventured at this point? Not all the way down yet, either. We have gone off to a side path here. Honestly, at this point, the traps are more annoying than anything else. Some of those have died here. Aha, and we've wrapped back around. Okay. Cool, cool. That's actually a good thing. So if we've wrapped back around, that means we can go left here and explore a little bit further down. This should lead towards a bog area. Aha! And there's a bunch of Squayatel fighting knackers. Come on. The frickin' traps. We're not gonna get involved in their conflict. They can fight each other all they want. However, the Squaytail are fairly dangerous. So... You know. This gets into weird territory here, because they're all technically different types of enemies. So, like, your type of sword you're using gets into weird. I saved your life, buddy. Stop trying to stab me. Well, I would have saved your life, but you're an asshole, so you get to die. Oh, what the... How did my HP go down that quick? Well, I have a save fairly recent to that, so it's not a big deal. My HP went down very quickly there. I'm not playing on hard or anything. I'm playing on normal. Damn monsters. What? Uh, okay. It loaded a save and proceeded to spawn enemies, huh? All right. All right. This is... One of the faults of Witcher 2, I guess. It actually loaded a save. Oh. This is a... Oh. Cocoon. That I had missed. Whoa! A queen has spawned. We gotta be very careful. The queen does a ton of damage, and I think we died anyway. Yeah. That, uh, yeah, it hit me with the, uh, the big attack, and that took down <laughs> a lot of my HP. Okay, so can the game not spawn enemies right as I load in? Or was it supposed to spawn them and didn't before? I think it was always supposed to spawn them, but just didn't before. Alright, well, let's see if you run into some of these traps. Because that would be nice. We're already set up. Okay, the traps do nothing. Lovely. Cool. Oh, no, oh, attacked the already dead one. Ah. I had to put in some swallow or something. Oh, okay, nope, we got hit anyway. Come on! This, I was doing a lot better when, you know, the game didn't spawn things out. So I can't even take a potion here because of how it spawned things. Die. And I'm pretty sure there are Neckers that it's going to have appear. Those things are coming for me. Pockets, I... Yeah. These are pretty tough enemies to... Can you not do that game? What in the hell? The enemy was on top of the trap. Didn't count for me. Counted for... Or... Didn't count for the enemy. Counted for me instead. 
And Geralt not snapping to the enemy is not helping here. Like he usually does. Okay. Oh. There's a dead guy here. Does he have better boots than mine? Worn leather boots, worn hardened leather boots. You know what? I will wear the plus one armor. Okay. So knowingness aside, can we take that? Okay. All right, and now we're gonna take some potions. I can't take potions out here? I, okay. I want to meditate, but it won't let me do it. Okay, so we can't just take potions at all in Wild Area? I have to consume them in town? Why is it spawning more? Okay, what the... The game has a bad habit of doing a swivel thing with the enemies, where they turn immediately to face you. Oh good, another one spawned. Take that. Can we not? I'm gonna die here. Okay. Are we good? The combat music still. Oh no. Okay. Apparently not. All right. Let's go back into town real quick so I could take a potion. Apparently, because I can't do it out here. I don't enjoy that as much. What's around here? That oh, place of power. Circle of vigor. Meditate here? I can. Alright, let's drink a potion. Let's take a swallow. And then I don't need a rook, but a golden oriole would be good. So our toxicity goes up a little bit, but the potions will last us a while. So how long do these potions last? Ten minutes. Okay, well... It's still annoying. That means like ten minutes outside of the gates. It's pretty much all the game wants to give you. Alright, we know where another one of these cocoons is. Let's go to that right away. Pick up a circle of endurance. Why not? Alright, that's where the dead man is. Alright. So. Save right here. Because as soon as I open this. Destroy this cocoon. The queen will spawn. And if I really wail on the queen enough. One down. I think there's still something after me? Yes? No? We get mutagens, we get everything. Now mutagens are good. Mutagens basically let us upgrade our skills. So we've done one of them. And just to show you what the mutagens are, I think they have their own separate spot. Mutagens. So we have a lesser strength mutagen, 
Um, we have power mutagen, vitality mutagen, critical effects mutagen, and I believe these can be used on skills, but each skill only gets one mutagen. Basically, you can mutate it um, to become something better. I need to look up exactly how it works. I don't remember off the top of my head, but yeah. I'm gonna let them do what they need to do. Well, it looks like the Squites all are winning this fight. For once. Let's make that a little easier for the monsters. Okay. Oh, we poisoned a, the foe somehow. Okay. Okay. That's not gonna help. Ooh, ricochet. Killed one of them using an arrow. Doesn't always help. As you can see, our vigor run ran low, so we will not be able to survive more shots. But they also aren't actively trying to kill us. They're just kind of doing their own thing over there. So we can sort of leave them alone. Get out of combat for a second. As soon as we get close again, they're like, Oh! Witcher! Oh, that's not what I wanted, but okay. And then that guy is just like, oh! So we can get close to him, I think. There we go. Get some experience for killing them as well. And this is, uh, also, I believe, the waterfall where, uh, she would have tried to attack you. Sort of the Blue Mountains. Interesting. Let's see what that is. It's a Steel Sword, I think. Steel Sword, 8 to 10. Not as good as our Cutlass, but it is magical. We can sell a couple of them. Oh, it has one upgrade slot on it. I see. So it's like you could upgrade this one a little bit. I don't think it's super worth it. We're just gonna get rid of it. Lesser power mutagen. A lot of the lesser mutagens aren't necessarily useful. You can see there's another guard here. Did I put on the worn leather boots? Worn hardened leather boots. And of course we take all the spoils because why not? Okay. So off in that direction I believe that is Squayotel territory. That's why there's so many of them here. And that's why they've got the uh, sign up. It's essentially a sign. Thanks. Alright, so... We want to switch to our silver sword. Ooh, hello. You... You have a burrow here. So there's an altar here to the Viopatas. We've saw we've seen that before. We're gonna come up from the ground here. Come on. Alright, he's gonna force us to come to him. So here's the nest. We can destroy the nest. Ah, so we actually do need the specific type of uh, bomb for it. Okay, then we'll have to go back into town to get that. That's unfortunate. I didn't think you would need the specific one, 
And I was wondering if Sama might suffice, but it, it does not. That's unfortunate. You can see there's another guard here killed by Squiatel. This is the bog where people were fighting. We are on the lookout for one more cocoon. There's another nest. I mean, I'm just looking for another cocoon. There's Squiatel over there? Can't tell if it's Squiatel or if it's guards. Looks like it's just guards. These are fresh tracks. Got a feeling we'll find them soon. Both the Squiatel and the Kingslayer. Oh, hello. From all this running about. We need booze for the evening. Trouble. Damn elves are playing hide and seek with us. Watch out for yourself, Geralt. Alright, so I guess those are roaches, man. Alright, I've gotten a little lost as to where I am. Okay. Well, we need to head back into town because we need to get ourselves some bombs. I forgot how annoying some of this can be. Although it seems like these are pretty, like, surefire spawns. Alright, we're gonna need four of those specific bombs. Uh, I can't remember the name of them, but we'll have to find a seller that can get that to us. Annoyingly. Oh. Wait, there's something right here? There is! Oh, uh, for signs. Alright. Now, who's a seller that can give us what we need? Somebody up here, I'm guessing. Let's see. One of these guys has to have the recipe. I would rather make it myself. Can we buy it from you? Diagram, amethyst, leather, studded leather, arachnid oil. I wouldn't mind getting some oils. Poisons foes. Regeneration vitality. Hangman's venom. Another oil. Lapwing. Red haze, thunderbolt, tiara, white raffords decoction. This is a really good one. Maybe we should just grab this real quick. You know what? Let's buy that one. Right to Medete, Rust Cloth. Formula Tiara. Thunderbolt significantly increases damage at the expense of vitality and generation. Uh, damage plus 20%. Really good, but yeah. Red Haze is a bomb. Marber Forest, not what I want. I do want Hangman's Venom. And I do want Arachnid Oil. However. You do not have the bomb diagram that I need. Uh, who would have the bomb diagram? Is it you? You don't sell. Uh, that guy probably didn't have it. I wonder if the mysterious merchant will have it. Oh, and the only way to bring the toxicity down is to rest, meditate, and... After, over time, the toxicity will go down. So even though I've taken two potions now, like if I wanted to go back out there and take more potions, I would be risking toxicity. Oh, you're the wrong person. Mysterious merchant. So you should have... You have runes. Sheadal's armor. You don't have it either, huh? I didn't turn in the one guy who could have uh, given me it, right? Or maybe the blacksmith has it. Because I want to be able to make these myself. Because if not, I can't 
finish this contract, I don't think. Craft me an item. Flower. Witcher Silver Sword. Talgar Winter. Trousers. And Draga Hide Reinforcements. Interesting. Let's see what you've got, though. Jagged Blade, Moon Rune, Meteorite, Robust Cutlass. Ooh. Feels quite a lot more damage. Sword of Cane Gorn. Yeah, there's a lot of good stuff here. Who has this thing? Ah. Somebody in Lobbingdon, actually. I've been looking at him, I'm like, where the heck is this thing? And we gotta go over to Lobbingdon for this, actually. Oh, more training dummies. This will get us four of them. Mushrooms. Okay, so there's someone we haven't met over here. I find that hard to believe, but you know what? Fine. Oh, they're on the observation platform. I see. Okay. I see it on the mini-map, and I'm, now that I see it, I'm like, oh, well, I guess they've always been here, haven't they? So hopefully we can just buy the formula from them. Milk. It'll be nearly a year now. Moril would delight in a day like this, Saharan. Enjoy the memory of her. Don't wallow in the long run. I try. I do. But I cannot believe all the bad blood this disappearance has bred. Don't let other Shay poison your memory of her. Hatred is but an outlet for helplessness. Thank you, Cedric. Vafail. Vafail. Hey, Greetings. Cedric. Greetings. Nice day. The day is awful, like every day in the Pontar Valley. I appreciate your courtesy, Witcher, but get to the point if you want something. Okay. I need to make a few orans. You wouldn't happen to have a job for a Witcher, would you? There's never a shortage of work for a Witcher in this forest. It's positively teeming with beasts. Though I'm not surprised they come here in droves. Know why that is? Cursed places attract all sorts of scum, like dung attracts flies. There was once a great house in the clearing. They locked up lunatics there. During the war with Nilfgaard, it was raised in a fire. The lunatics broiled in their cells. The ruins remain cursed to this day. Two daredevils went off to explore the ruins recently. They haven't been seen since. A great house, you say? Tell me more about the building itself. It was an old manor house that was converted into a mental institution. There was no shortage of lunatics in wartime. They just kept coming. Reverend Mercey locked them up in there and looked after them. If you find the two people lost in the ruins of the mental asylum, you stand to be handsomely rewarded by them or their families. Okay. No harm in trying. Cool. Let's the see what else. We were talking about. How did she disappear? Sir Harim believes the forest took her. What do you believe? Moril simply vanished. Almost a year ago now. Some say she was too beautiful. And Dwan must have harmed her. You believe that? If I have no evidence before me, I try to trust my feelings. And they tell me the forest did not take her. Why would you keep that from Sir Harim? Because it's meaningless. Perhaps she was murdered, perhaps she departed on her own, never to return. She's gone. And neither I nor Sir Harim can reverse that. Interesting. Who exactly are you? One who warns humans against the dangers that lurk in the forest. Care to clarify? I am old. Even for an elf. Yet the forest is older. I've lived in it for years and understand it. Though it's nothing I can explain. At times, I make mistakes, and people don't come home. So you help humans? I just know if it's safe to venture beyond the gates or not. 
<laughs> Are you drunk? I'll come back when you're sober. You witches live a long life. You may indeed get to see that day. What are the Scoia'tael fighting for? Do you ask about the old ones who hoped to restore our race to its previous glory? Or about the young ones who fight for survival and out of suicidal revenge? Yorvith's warriors. Which mold do they fit? They believe they are still independent and that there is but one just way to view their cause. In truth, however, they're but a shadow of the Enshe's former glory. They cling to delusions to the very moment when a sword or a noose ends their life, or until they realize the truth themselves, which is, I believe, the worst. Yeah, that sucks. So, we can uh, get some stuff from him interesting. He has Arrakis eyes, so we could just grab those, but he has a bunch of trap and uh, bomb things that we need. We need a bounce dagger, rage. So those are traps. Formula, devil's puffball, flare, grape shot, bomb. Which is weird, because I thought salmon was a bomb, but I guess not. Blinds, freezes all within range. Stench bulb, red haze. Okay, well, we're just going to get the grape shot for now. Because we want to be able to make these ourselves. Um, we have the Orin. Lord knows. Let's talk to the other Careful one. Careful there. Hello. Oh, no. Where'd the other one go? There's another elf here. Okay, well. Don't venture so near the forest. I guess we'll just make our uh, bombs now. So, can we make Grape Shot? We can, in fact. We want to make uh, at least four of them, but let's go... Well, let's go ahead and make, like, nine. That'll leave us with five after the fact. And then this gets put in our hot bar. There we go. So that Grape Shot is what we can use to destroy those uh, mounds that we saw before. And we will do that next time. We're going to find the last uh, little cocoon and we are going to explode those um, things. I don't know what to call them. Is that the person we're looking for? They go down here. I'm going to talk to them real quick before the end of the episode if that's them. If not, we'll just continue on from next time. And hopefully I'll get better at this game. It, uh, it takes some getting used to with how Geralt moves and everything. Are you the other one? You are not. Okay, never mind. There's one more elf around here, the one who was talking to Cedric. But he seems to have totally disappeared. Anyway, we're going to venture off into the forest next time and continue with that. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye <laughs>